of applause for so long. Sorry, I need to gather myself for a second. <laughs> at home. We are the Bowers Fader duo, Jessica Bowers and Oren Fader. And this is the second encore performance of our fifth <laughs> annual New American Art Song concert. Good time. Um, so the, we didn't do a program. Um, so for those of you who, uh, who haven't heard this already, the first piece was by Jeffrey Young, who is a friend and composer uh, that we met a couple of years ago. Hi, Jeff. We hope you're watching. Um, and the first that the name of that first piece was Enivre Vous, which means get drunk. And it's by Baudelaire, and it's all about uh, we should be drunk all the time. Everybody should be drunk, whether it's on poetry or virtue or wine. It's your choice. 
just do it. So we, we love the sentiment. Thank you, Jeff. We, uh, we love playing your music. I'm very grateful. Uh, right, so our next song cycle is by Louis Karchin. And Lou Karchin is a composer that we met a couple of years ago through Paul Salerni, but uh, I had known of him for many years because he writes operas. And so I was, you know, as a singer, try to always pay attention to who current living composers are. Um, and so we were so thrilled when he said, expressed an interest in writing uh, for us. So he wrote us this wonderful three song cycle called Three Songs on Poems of Emily Dickinson. And it, the first one is called A Book. The second one is Heart Not So Heavy As Mine. And the third poem is Charlotte Bronte's Grave. There is no frigate like a book to take us lands away. Courses like a page of prance and poetry. These traverse me the forest thick without a place of toll. How frugal is the chariot that bears a human soul?
at home. Um, uh, for anyone who may have just tuned in, that was Luke Karchin's Three Songs on Emily Dickinson. Uh, and our next piece, Oren, is going to talk a little bit about. Yes, our uh, next piece is called Who Will Cry For Her? And the composer is Rebecca Driscoll. And um, uh, one of our audience members, Bill Anderson, my good buddy and guitar duo partner and leader of the Cygnus Ensemble, uh, for many years, the Cygnus Ensemble and had... A wonderful friend and benefactor of the Bowers Spader duo. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and he's buying us dinner tonight. Wait, he's in the... Um, uh, so Cygnus, uh, for many years, had a residency at Sarah Lawrence College. And uh, one of the music students there was Rebecca Driscoll. And uh, she just wrote a bunch of great music that the, our, our Cygnus group played. And uh, so um, later, uh, we asked her to write us a piece. And she did, and it was wonderful. Uh, called I'm Being Interrupted. That was sort of a famous piece of ours. And then um, she uh, suggested this piece. And the text is rather special, and Jessica's going to tell you a little bit about it. Right. So Rebecca sent us this uh, last, I believe, last June, um, written, you know, during the, the sort of early part of the pandemic. And she wrote this wonderful note about the text. So I, I'm just going to read what she wrote because it's, it's perfect. Uh, this text was written by Reverend, Reverend Kathleen W. Haynes in April 2020 after she officiated a funeral which, due to COVID-19 restrictions, was sparsely attended and socially distanced. Thank you. 
next morning I woke to memories of her She and I had talked about this day It wasn't much of what I wanted for her Um, 
I always feel like we have to say, when we first learned the piece, everything was just, you know, pandemic was just hitting and, you know, it felt a certain way. And then when we performed it again, you know, both of these in our house, uh, you know, house concerts um, in February, it felt another way. And tonight, you know, feeling like the end may be in sight, mm -hmm. having actual people here doing a live concert, it's another, it feels a way. <laughs> uh, and it's it's amazing and, and we love it and hmm. when we play it in 10 years we'll be like remember that right yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have one more song cycle and then we'll take a brief intermission um, Orin is gonna talk a little bit about uh, this Larry Nelson sip of water. yes uh, so I met Larry Nelson uh, as one does at a new music concert and uh, he wrote a really beautiful piece for two guitars and at that time, uh, I played it with uh, the wonderful Israeli guitarist Nadav Lev. Um, and uh, it was just beautiful, and I really loved it. And so I got to know him, and I said, your piece is so wonderful. Maybe someday you can write something for me and my wife. And then he did. So these are the six songs, and they're very varied, incredible guitar writing, uh, incredible expression. And we love them. Wonderful. Six songs by Larry Nelson, uh, and after this, as I said, we'll take a brief, a brief intermission. Do not scan, and 
I should like to ride the sea, ride the sea, ride the sea. A roaring, 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 roaring buccaneer, buccaneer, buccaneer. A cutlass banging, cutlass banging at my knee, at my knee. I don't 
the sorrow, a friend and a foe. I am wiser to know. Idleness, sorrow, a friend and a foe. For be the things I've been better without. Love, curiosity, freckles, and doubt. I've been better without. Love, curiosity, freckles, and doubt. Free be the things I shall never attain. Envy, contempt, and sufficient champagne. Free be the things I shall have till I die. I shall have till I die. Oh! <laughs>
into your nighttime jammies and get a glass of wine and we'll be back in a little bit. All right.
much. Once again, thank you to our audience. We weren't sure. Right. <laughs> I said we, we, we had sure. six times the amount of people we expected. So, <laughs> so lovely, that, lovely to see you all, and, and uh, thank you so much for coming. So let's see. Next we have two songs by Richard Derby. And uh, once again, met Richard Derby at a new music concert. Uh, this time I wasn't playing, I was listening. Um, I think it was Locrian Ensemble. That's a New York ensemble that I think only plays music 10 years and older. Does that sound right, Kathy? Okay, something like that. So new, new music. Um, anyway, they did a, it was a string quartet. They did a movement of one of Richard Derby's string quartets. And I just thought it was so terrific. So terrific. And then going home, I saw him on the subway, and I said, uh, are you that guy that was, the music was played? He said, yeah. And uh, he was with his wife, and uh, no, he wasn't with his wife. No, it was just Richard. His wife comes later, which right. Jessica's gonna explain. Um, anyway, uh, I just said, I love your music. Right, can you write something for us sometime? And then he did, so there you go. <laughs> right, so he wrote uh, two songs, and these poems are by his wife, Charlene, which is cool. You know, to put that stuff keep it in the family to work together, keep it in the family. Um, so we hope we hope Richard and Charlene. We think you're watching. We hope you are. Uh, they're in the Bay Area, so they're far away, but yeah. internet. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, and for our uh, internet uh, people watching online, um, if you choose to make a donation, we uh, gratefully accept it. <laughs> thank you so much. That was my. That was Jessica going, uh, we're subtle here. So yes, yes. That will help buy us new strings and stuff, new gear, cold sesame noodles. Right. Okay. So actually, no, now we've, we've uh, the two songs are, the first one is called Mayan Dawn, and the second one is called On a Saturday. So two songs by Richard Derby. There's a commercial about a guy who chugs cheap chemicals from a tiny colored canister and claims he'll be energized for the next five hours. the camera and says let's do this he leaves for work alone there's a life about a girl who cups her
to Richard and Charlene. We love your songs. We hope we get to play them many, many times. Um, yeah, Richard, so I'm going to play the solo, too. Great. So next piece, I think you were going to intro. Yes. Uh, Randy Wolf, who is in the audience. He's here. Yay. We are so pleased to have him. Thank you, Randy. Um, so uh, Randy writes beautiful guitar music, uh, solos and... and uh, he wrote us a bunch of things. Um, this is from, from actually from a much larger cycle, which we're going to play next season in its entirety. 
So these are two teasers from that cycle. Did I get that right? Right. Yes, exactly. So, um, um, Can I see who's speaking first? Yeah, but uh, can the mics handle that, Renee? If we, uh, uh, Randy, do you want to say anything? Uh, will the, will no. the mics pick him up from there? Sure. Give it to them. I mean, we know we're putting you on the spot, we, oh, so okay. please feel free to decline. Should he come here? Yeah, maybe. Will you come here and speak into the mic? Oh, the, yeah, just Probably, this yeah, one. Yeah, close, uh, speak into that mic. Thanks, Randy. We Thanks, appreciate Randy. It. Awesome. Sure. Uh, these are settings by two poems by friends of mine, Gary Ralph and Megan Duffy. And I love their work very much, and for just different reasons having to do with their lives, they haven't been published or really heard that much. So I wanted to, to change that and uh, write these songs, which you folks are already doing it several times. <laughs> and uh, they're very different. The, the first song, Moving, are you doing Moving Day? Yeah, Moving Day. It's very introspective and kind of spare. And the second one, Gary Ralph, has got a very traditional kind of conservative approach to poetry that, that I like very much. And he's, he's a very crazy person as well. I hope you're watching. <laughs> we love you, Gary. <laughs> this song is called Asylum. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you, Randy. Cool. Team. 
my shoes on the wrong feet, throwing away bananas and eating the peels. Crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, in a joke, crazy professor, crazy professor, in a joke, crazy professor, professor, crazy professor, I muddle my dreams from the night before. More so than when I write poems about them, children follow and chase me down the street, hooting and catcalling and my old rain cape. Crazy, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy, crazy professor, crazy professor. Crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor. In my own old rain cave, I'm wide awake like some beautiful tropical bat. Deco magenta. Give me a little time to find the others. We'll band together. We don't want to be dealt with. We don't want to find our categories. We don't want to find. We don't want to find our categories. We don't want to find. We don't want to find. We don't ah, we want asylum, we want long green lawns, we want basket weaving, we don't want to be cured. Crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor, crazy professor. Crazy professor, crazy professor. And thank you to Gary, who I know is watching, and hopefully Megan maybe could could tune in as well. Um, okay, so now, uh, three prayers by Paul Salerni. Yes, um, so very quickly, Paul Salerni, I think has been on every single concert we've ever done. In, in a way, Paul is the reason that Jessica and I are in a duo. Um, he, he wrote this tune, um, it's a real jazzy tune, and I was singing it in the house all the time. Jessica kept saying, what is that tune you keep singing? And uh, it was called Alley Cat Love Song. And uh, actually, we did record that, and it'll be on a bridge record soon. Coming out soon. Coming out soon. We're working on that. An album, all Paul Salerni, all Bauer yeah. Spader duo set. So anyway, he did an arrangement for us, and then he just wrote us a ton of music, and uh, it's all amazing. And uh, we already recorded some of it. That's already been released. But this will be a, a disc just of Paul, so we're looking forward to that. Thank you, Paul. And uh, this particular thing are three prayers, and uh, written, of course, during during COVID time. And uh, for the poems, he he uh, collaborated with uh, a poet named Dana Joya, who he's collaborated with many many times. And. Um, uh, Paul says this, this cycle was to offer relief and comfort. I'm tuning in the rhythm of Crazy Professor. I didn't even realize it. I'm checking tuning like this.
The gods of ancient Egypt have walked into the room while Isis and Osiris were sealed inside their tomb. These sleek divinities escaped to build their sect anew and cultivate the worship of Christian Hindu. The gods, their vision keep. Only the foolish heathen mistake their bliss for sleep. No worldly care can interrupt their transcendental state of pure incorporality.
never seen the sun. Keeper of the small gate, choreographer of entrances and exits, midnight whispers traveling the watching we love you hope you're all well um, so now we're to the final set that's right yeah uh, and so we're gonna do two songs Orin's gonna talk a little bit about uh, I'm putting on uh, for those of you well actually everyone can sit right <laughs> sorry I put on the capo because I'm gonna do uh, a lute part now and the reason I'm doing that is because for our last piece, uh, my friend Pat Zimmerly, um, great jazz musician, great saxophonist, and a great composer, um, we met about 25 to 30 years ago at some awards something for something, and I can't even remember. But we became buddies, we kept in touch, and uh, Jessica and I uh, had an opportunity to play new music at the Bar Harbor Music Festival. Um, and part of that was a commission to get someone to write us a piece. And Pat turned out to be that person. And uh, I think it was Columbia Composers, right? For right, we had to choose from Columbia Composers because yeah. it was from the Ditson Fund. So what Pat did is uh, kind of special, which is that he took a song, an Elizabethan lute song by John Dowland. And for those of you who are not guitar players, uh, John Dowland wrote hundreds of songs. Um, a lot of them are famous now. and. 
guitar players play them with their duo partners, uh, usually on guitar, not lute, but um, it's good on lute too. It's written for lute, but it's fine. Um, so anyway, Pat took uh, one of Dowland's pieces called All Ye Whom Love or Fortune. And what he did was replay the Dowland piece, and then he took the text of the Dowland piece and wrote his own piece. So we play the Dallin, and then we play Pat Simmerly's piece back to back. Right, and he didn't hear the original at all. Like he, we just sent him texts, and he picked what text he liked. So he had like zero um, uh, influence, which I think is cool. Like, and, and to play them back to back is actually the other day I was practicing, and I sang one the first line of, of one, and then the next, and it was right. it was it was really That's right. lovely and interesting and fascinating. Like these pieces written what five hundred years apart. That's right. Four hundred years. Right. Yeah, yeah. Dallin um, from the fifteen hundreds. Right. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching. Yes. Um, uh, this has been a pleasure. It is. And again, if you choose to online, please make a donation. There's the click uh, help us button. Uh, feel free to do so. <laughs> so it's actually says click help us. <laughs> click help us. <laughs> We're mad. All right.